In Q&A sessions, one of the questions that was frequently asked was about the distinction between analytic and synthetic judgments. So let me elaborate on that a little bit. So basically, an analytic judgment or statement, judgment is just a jargon for a statement or claim or sentence. An analytic judgment is a judgment that analyzes, basically it's in a word, what you already know. So if I would tell you, for instance, that a circle is round, then that's not something that's new to you. Uh, so that's an analytic judgment. Were I to deny a analytic judgment, I'll get into a contradiction. So take this example again, a circle is round. If I would say a circle is not round, you would say, I say, uh, I, I make a claim that's not true, that's false, that's a contradiction. It's round uh, and not round at the same time. Uh, so that's what an analytic judgment is. So the same goes for, I think, that, that is the, the example I used in the lectures. A brother is a man. That is something that's conceptually true. Based on the concept of a brother, you can analyze that this sentence is true. You know this. It's not something uh, you have to do research into. So it's, in that sense, it's a priori. Uh, analytic statements are always a priori. And again, if you deny it, if you say it's not true that a brother is a man, you're saying something that is basically a contradiction. So that's an analytic judgment. Then a synthetic judgment is, well, quite the opposite. It is something that tells you something new. So if I tell you that I have 15 colleagues at the Department of Philosophy, my guess is that would be something that's new to you. So that is a synthetic judgment. So that's basically the distinction between analytic judgment and synthetic judgment. So in science, of course, we are interested in those synthetic judgments. If you do research, if you later in your career become a psychologist that uh, does, uh, who does research, then you'll try to find out something new. So you're interested in synthetic judgments, in synthetic sentences, in synthetic statements. So that's what uh, synthetic judgment is. And of course, the debate is, can there be synthetic judgments that are a priori? So you get new information, synthetic, but you do so based on your reason, your ratio alone. And a rationalist, of course, would argue that at least it's possible. Kant would argue that it's possible. And any empiricist would deny this. According to an empiricist, all synthetic judgments are a posteriori. A posteriori means you need to do some research in the real world. You have to use your senses. So uh, I hope this helps a little bit in clarifying this distinction between analytic and synthetic in combination with a priori and a posteriori.